welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel my name is Jake and today we're doing this Dua Lipa inspired look with this massive beehive that I've never practiced before and I thought it would be a good idea to do it for the first time at 7 30 p.m. because I'm very very smart <laughs> and I recreated her makeup look and now I'm realizing don't look at my corpse nails don't look at my corpse nails <laughs> I believe my appearance requires an explanation and we'll, we'll get to that. <laughs> First, I'm going to separate all the hair that's in front of the ears, roughly. So I temporarily dyed my hair black and it stained my lips and that's why I'm wearing red lipstick. I have basically like staining on my neck and on my face and I was like, oh, I'll just cover it up with makeup and that didn't go too great. But I'm gonna fix it later. What we're gonna do is start with this first back section. Brush it through. <coughs> we're gonna brush that through. Oh, nice and tacky. That's what we call you. <laughs> I am not nice, okay? <laughs> But tacky, sure. <laughs> I'm teasing okay. in smaller layers yes. because the less hair you have, the, the more like little layers you have to do. Hello. <laughs> We're just gonna see. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Stuff is happening. I should have burst you with longer arms. <laughs> well, then my hair wouldn't look as long. It's all about proportion. <laughs> my arms are already burning. Here, when you get to the ends, you get to rest <laughs> with little T-Rex <laughs> arms. <laughs> oh my God, it's it's not that dark in here. It's like blackout curtains. Um, wow. Right? Oh my God, wow. You'll be a master teaser. <laughs> you liked that joke way too much. I'm not even sure what it is. It sounds dirty, but it doesn't even necessarily make sense. <laughs> you can name these things Jake's Furniture Hour. I don't think people like to watch that. I sure as hell don't. When I click on a... And she's like, i never done this before. And I'm like, why do I want to watch you not do this before? You're not even fucking funny. At least I'm fucking funny. <laughs> For this last little layer, I'm going on the other side so I can more easily smooth it over. You're looking a little Elvira y. Now, if you could just tease your breasts. Up. Oh, tease my breasts. Yeah, it makes This is not Elvira. that kind of a show. <laughs> so, now with the sides of my head, you want it to lay in this direction. So, you're not gonna go this way. You're gonna go just in the direction that it's gonna go. I'm gonna tease it actually just from both sides. Well, I'm sweating, so maybe I will sweat some of the hair dye out of my pores. Now, got this side. I could totally rock this. <laughs> I look like I've been on Naked and Afraid, but not just any episode of Naked and Afraid. Naked and Afraid XL, for sure. We're going to take everything from behind the ears and pin it on the top of the head. I'm gonna do the middle chunk. First, I'm lining up right behind my ear to find where I want to put the bobby pins, smoothing over and pinning in an X for better hold. We're going to take this side and smooth it this way and pin it kind of in the same area. This side section. Okay, so now I'm like pulling out the little front pieces. Hers are shorter than mine, which I think make the whole thing a little cuter to be honest, but I'm not gonna cut my hair. So she has the side pieces. They're swept back and up sort of like this, but obviously it's teased. And so I'm just sectioning those out. I went to this part of my head, basically right on the outside of my eyebrow, and I put it in a little pigtail behind my ear. I'm gonna do the same thing with this side. And in order to do this hairstyle properly, you have to swear at least 10 times. So how many you have to? I'm only at four or five. And we're about halfway done. So I'm on track to meet my swearing quota. I've separated out my little bang section. 
So to give it the height of the Burj Khalifa, is that what it's called? Tallest building in the world in Dubai, right? The Burj Khalifa. Mm -hmm. Okay, I was right. So to give it the height of the Burj Khalifa, I've been playing around with some of these donuts. We have the D cup, the C cup, the B cup, and the A cup. And so we're going with the D cup with the C cup stacked on top of it. I put the first donut in and I want it to sit right here, all the way to here. First we pin the D cup to our head where we want it. That feels nice and secure. Then we're going to pin the C cup on top of the D cup. Almost like a hamburger. Well, I don't know. No, not completely. So like that. I like how all of my analogies are to food. Some of them are to breasts. so much. Now we smooth. So these little side pieces from uh, the beehive have fallen down and that's actually perfect because what I first want to do is pin this part in place. The donuts are really nice for making your hair stay where you want it to. Where you want it to. You want it to. Da -da. You want it to. Wake up. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 -da. You want it to. I don't think you trust in my self-righteous when angels deserve to talk. okay that's how you get people to click away i'm putting in a c cup to make the right shape from the profile i'm gonna pin the bottom of the donut to my head now i'm taking both sides and smoothing back with my hands and using hairspray so that they have a better shape and taking those pieces that we teased from the side and bringing them up and over that third donut we just added and wrapping the ends around my finger and pinning them to the donut leave a comment below guessing how many bobby pins I use by the end of this and whoever is the closest without getting going over so price is right rules wins wins <laughs> <laughs> now she's got these two bits that kind of go up and over so that's what we're gonna do now I'm being a little careful not to disrupt anything I've worked so hard to achieve okay so I've separated it into a back section and a front section and the back section gets swept lower and tighter while this front section gets swept up higher and less tight gonna separate I'm taking down the bangs and spraying them with texturizing spray to beef them up because we like those bangs nice and beefy and then they'll better spread out over my hairline down here yeah you can do this and then once you get to here you don't really know where those are going if you're doing this on yourself so I would just spray the area where you see the hairs sticking out like here and then just kind of go like that it's the spray and press technique now I have to do the makeup and I have to scrub my face so first I'm going to put on her lipstick color which is like a brick ish color let's move on to the eyes I feel like um I just I keep forget I keep forgetting that's what this is what I look like and then I look in the viewfinder and I'm like oh my god so she's wearing a sparkly grayish brown taupe on the top lid. And I'm very used to tipping my head back because I put it eyes to be able to do my makeup to see, but um, I will not be tipping my head in any direction ever again. So I'm just putting a medium to light beige through the crease. Oh my God, I love this look so much. I just wish I had her dress. Oh well. Is that all? What about her money? I wish I had her bank account. Plural. And I'm taking that color to the outer corner. I'm wetting my flat shader brush with MAC Fix Plus. <laughs> Say that three times fast. And using a sparkly, goldeny taupe color all over the lid. And one of my favorite parts about this look is on the inner corner, she has this highlight that when the light hits it, it's pink. Her makeup artist is playing with a lot of color on the lower lash line, which is great to do if you have hooded eyes because when your eyes are open, you don't really see a lot of the color. 
So good on you, makeup artist. So I'm using a highlight from Pat McGrath's Divine Rose 2 palette. I'm using a little bit of this peachy pink, and now I'm using an eggplant color. And I'm bringing that eggplant color up onto the outer corner of the upper lash line to connect it with the lower lash line. I'm tight lining. Upon further stalking images of her, she's got this plum color on the outside of her lid and then it fades into her blush and then her blush is a little less plum. So I'm using blush on the outer corners. Okay, now for the aggressive blush, which is the best part. If anything in this world should be aggressive, it's blush. Not dogs, not men, which really what's the difference? So I don't like telling you to go out and buy things um, because capitalism, but like you probably should go out and buy these Olimar Cosmetic <laughs> Blush Trios. I have both the light and the medium. Big fan, big fan. Now I'm connecting it to the eyeshadow. And now for a heavy dose of mascara. Oh my God, it's stained in my nose. Now I'm just running some brow gel through my brows. And I powdered my face, so now it's time for the jewels. That's how you have to say it when you put them on. And she's wearing it with her fancy clasp in the front. And here's the final look. What does she do? She's like, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet because my 69th subscriber will win. What will they win? The prize of never having to 69 ever again. <laughs> Cause we all know it fucking sucks. <laughs> Can't we just all take turns like civilized people? <laughs> Unless you like it, honestly, it's fine if you legitimately like it, but you, you're, you are a unicorn. And for more of my celeb inspired looks, I put them all in a playlist right here. So just click right there and Piper and I will see you over there. Bye fellow acidic bitches. And stay sassy, my friend.